Good news for a lot of people, especially this family. Halloween is not canceled for a family in Comstock Park. And while other houses may be turning off their lights for trick-or-treaters this year, the Donahue family says that the pandemic is the very reason that the show must go on. Hello, hello, children. The whole idea is that it's a haunted fairy tale village. Jennifer Dunahy takes Halloween very seriously. I promise my family will have a normal Christmas and then as soon as Christmas is done, I get to work. It's more like a way of life. It started when I was little, really little, like probably our first Halloween in this neighborhood when I was four years old. And we October for the past 12 years. The haunt of Storybook Hollow becomes the focal point of Biddeford Drive Northwest in Comstock Park. We get people driving in from like a couple hours away. There's something different to see every year, but in 2020, you guessed it, the display will run a little differently. If you're comfortable getting out and walking around, we do have a rule if there's more than one family in the yard at a time, we ask that you wear masks. We are using a candy shoot and we're going to have, we're going to be wearing gloves and a mask and we're going to be, we'll dump the candy directly into a big bowl and then ladle it into the chute. There will be no contact with the candy and with, with kids. But there's one thing Jennifer says will never change and that's accepting donations and pet supplies for the Humane Society of West Michigan. The Humane Society is sort of near and dear to our family's heart and I thought if we're going to do all this work, we might as well get we'll do something more with it. And it is a lot of work. This dragon in here is Frosty. He took us five years to build. From the dragon farm to Hansel and Gretel's house. She came back out of the oven, so she's kind of crispy in there. <laughs> You can see the effort in every detail. Just one way Jennifer hopes to bring some fun to an otherwise spooky time. I thought if people could drive around, see some cool decorations, and then it'll be something to look back on and think this really cool thing we did that Halloween as opposed to the Halloween that didn't happen. The Halloween that wow. didn't happen. Kids it's will happening love that. there. That's I awesome. know it's so magical. I was out there today and there are 18 houses in that entire neighborhood doing a decorating contest. Jennifer is organizing it so she's not eligible to win. You can find a map on the event's Facebook page and then vote for your favorite. All are welcome to drive through and take a look. And we do have that linked on our website. So you can go ahead and take a look yourself. She it said would... that they've had 750 to 1500 wow. trick or treaters on a normal year. She's just hoping that everyone is cognizant of other people and just keeps their distance.